something to do with magic. You could try swimming, but I don't recommend it. Nasty things in that lake. I reckon it's all them potions they dump in there. Gregor's told me to stay here till it blows over, but I'm telling you, some storms don't blow over easy. Maybe you could at that. I'm sure your mind's all afire now, eh? I reckon it's good for them mages. Gather them all, learn them some proper magics. I know what they say about mages, but the Maker made them for a purpose. If you can't trust him, who can you trust? Oh, I can't say that. I'm lucky he's good enough to give me the time of day. The first enchanter's all right. He's polite as can be, but he's always a little distant if you get my drift. But Gregor will stay to talk. I reckon he likes hearing from us common folk, you know? He's a man to be respected, that Gregor. All right. Keep safe, you hear? You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha! So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. He won't know if you never get in, will he? Oh, I've outsmarted you. If I were more flexible, I'd pat myself on the back. Uh, is that bad? Look, I'm uh, just trying to do my job. I'll take you right now, just like you wanted. Come along, I suppose. and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. We were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. True enough. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations, not the horde that fell upon us. I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now.
We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Ah, oh, that arrogance hangs about you like some fell cloud, doesn't it? If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too. Done. Just like you wanted. Mm -hmm. 